Hey, welcome back to Simply Nook. I'm Sean, your senior support technician. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to connect your Oculus Rift to your mini PC. Before we begin, you wanna make sure that you have the Oculus software downloaded to your PC. You wanna make sure that you have plenty of room to move around safely, and you wanna make sure that you have your hardware connected to your PC. So it'll be your sensors, your headset, and make sure that you have fresh batteries in your controllers. With that said, let's get into it. So to begin, we are going to launch our Oculus software with all of the pieces connected. All right, now that we have the Oculus software open, you can see right up here at the top, there's a big blue banner that says, would you like to set up your Rift? You can go ahead and click set up right here. It's gonna take you to getting to know your Rift. And here's some helpful information to provide you with safety tips, uh, as well as cleaning tips for your Oculus Rift. We're gonna go ahead and hit next. All right, it's gonna ask you if all your devices are connected. If they are, you will see these green check marks right up here at the top, and they will be flashing. That means it is recognizing your hardware. We'll go ahead and hit next. All right, now it's gonna set up your input devices. Now this is gonna be whether you have a controller, an Oculus remote, or the touch. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and use the touch controllers. We're gonna hit next. That's gonna ask us to set up the controllers. So what we'll do is you're gonna press and slide down on the touch handle to remove the battery door, put one AA battery in. We've already got the batteries in, so we're good to go. And now we're gonna go ahead and pair. To do this, you're gonna hold the menu button and the Y button for two seconds on your left controller. Hit the menu button here and the Y button at the same time, you're gonna hold that for two seconds. This light here will start blinking. It'll indicate that it has found your device and pairing has been completed. You will then hit next. And now we will pair the right one. On the right controller, you will hit the Oculus button along with the B and you're gonna hold that for two seconds as well. You're gonna see this light star blinking. You'll notice on your screen that it is now connecting. It has now finalized the controller. We are ready to move on to the next step. We'll go ahead and hit next. All right, it's gonna give you a little bit of information about your controllers. We can go ahead and hit next. And now it is testing the sensors. All right, it recognizes both sensors indicated by the green flashing check marks. We can go ahead and hit next. And now we're gonna set up the Oculus sensors. Right. We're gonna set floor position in VR. We're gonna put our height. And we'll go with five, six for me. All right, it's gonna tell you to make sure that you have a clear space to play in. We'll go ahead and hit next. And now we're gonna place, we're gonna stand up and place our sensors three to six feet apart from each other. We're gonna rotate and tilt your sensors so the glossy side is pointing into the play area. From here, we'll go ahead and hit next. And it's gonna to talk to you a little bit about setup and tracking. We can hit next. And now we're gonna initiate the sensor tracking. We will pick up one of, the one of the touch controllers and we're gonna move into the play area. For that, I'm gonna go ahead and move the chair here. Now that we are in the play area, we will squeeze and hold the trigger. And release the trigger. And now, we can position the controller and the sensors. Tracking is successful. I'm gonna set this down and we will go ahead and click next. All right, now it's gonna ask you to set up a guardian. A guardian is the play space that you will be playing in. If you are to reach outside the Guardian, it'll give you a red flag and tell you that you are outside the Guardian. This is to keep you from hitting things such as your desk, your wall, furniture, or people. We're gonna go ahead and hit next. And we are going to set up our boundaries. So what we'll do is we're gonna take one of the touch controllers. We are going to step inside the play field and we are gonna draw out a play area. You're gonna hold the trigger down to do this Now you wanna make sure that your play area connects fully. There we go. 
And so now we have this play area. You go ahead and set the controller down. And we're gonna hit continue. It's gonna give you a guardian warning. We can go ahead and after reading, go ahead and click under I understand. All right, it's gonna ask of you about personalizing your rift. We can go ahead and hit next. It's gonna give you a little bit of information about the tabs, the straps for your rift headset. You can go ahead and hit next. It's gonna give you a little bit more information about customizing the fit. You go ahead and hit next. And it's gonna ask you to do a video to watch a playthrough of health and safety. Now you can watch the video and then hit next or we can just hit skip. All right, now it's gonna give you a information about health and safety. Go ahead and acknowledge. Now it's asking to find the lens slider. Uh, this will help the Distortion or blur once you have the headset on. We'll hit next. And then we are going to continue the rest inside the headset. Now we are going to step back into the play area position. And we are going to touch the trigger on one of the controllers. All right, the sensors have scanned me and I'm going to go ahead and hit the trigger again to continue. All right, your Oculus is now set up and ready for use. And welcome to VR. For some of your VR applications and software, it will require you to enable the public beta test channel. That could be done by selecting beta under the settings and enabling public test channel here. Once the public test channel is enabled, it will update the software. You can also enable unknown sources, which allows apps that have not been reviewed by Oculus to run, such as your Steam apps. So you'll be able to download Steam VR application and run it with your Oculus software in tandem. And with that said, that is how to set up your Oculus Rift. Thank you for choosing Simply Nook.